Hi, welcome to Three of the Tea. My name is Martin and you join me on the 10th fold at Royal Ascot Golf Club. Tonight I'm going to be doing a scramble test. If you don't know what that is, basically I'm going to play the back nine as normal. If I hit the green in regulation, then I've got to take the ball off and try and get up and down. If I miss a green and don't hit it in regulation, then I'll carry on as normal and again try and get up and down. Tonight I'm going to be using something called the linear short game method. Now, if you haven't seen the first video I've done, there'll be a link at the top of the screen. But basically, it's a short game concept designed by a well-known coach called Gary Smith. And it's something that I've really bought into in a big way. And I really think it's helping my game. The video I did was a basic introduction and my take on, on the concept. So, let's see how we get on tonight and see how many up and downs I can make on the back nine. Let's crack on. Right then, I've come up a little bit short, so I've got a little chip just up to the flag. Should be nice and straightforward. Right then, I've actually hit that green in regulation, so I'm going to have to go and drop another ball off. So that was a yellow ball and I use a white one to try and get up and down. Right then, because my first ball was on the green in regulation, I'm now playing a second ball. I've got 49 yards to flag, so we'll see what happens with this linear pitch. That looks pretty good. I think that's about three or four foot away. So let's see if I can get another up and down. Three putt with my first ball. I just slipped out with the up and down. It was probably more, more six or seven foot than four, but it was a good pitch and I was happy with it. So let's crack on to the next hole and see what happens there. Ever. In fact, it was a high ball swing. I've got 185 yards left. I'm going to try and get a little four on and move it left to right if I can. Well, definitely moved it left to right, but nowhere near the green. In fact, I've carved it down the right-hand side of the hole. Let's see if we can find it. Right then. 
got a bit of luck there. It definitely moved left to right, but not where I wanted it. I've got 74 to the, to the middle of the green. I've got a sandwich in my hand. I'm going to try and pace as a normal shot. Perfect, but we're putting. Hundred eighty six yards par three off the whites, it's played about hundred and seventy nine. Flag in the front, got a little four iron. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure, can't tell in the sun whether that's on. Hit it really well. So we're going to have a look. If it's on, then we'll be. We'll be playing a shot from off the green since it's been regulation. Let's go and find out where it is. Right then, as you can see, it's actually hit the false front of the screen and rolled back, so I didn't actually get a green in regulation. Let's see if we can get up and down. Put a little eight on, just do a little linear chip. a little bit and a bit strong but happy with the contact. Right then, not actually the best chip shot in the world so see if we can get up and down. disappointing you're never going to get up and down if you don't actually get the ball to the hole and although I hit that chip shot with the 8 iron quite well it did run on a bit so definitely work to be done on my chipping let's move on to the next hole see how I get on right then 14th hole 430 yards stroke index 5 one of these that I can't usually reach into anyway even my Sunday best but we'll see what happens it's going to be a really good shot. Right then, carved that away. Definitely can't hit the green in two. I'm just going to try and hit an iron over the tree as best I can and get it back into play and try and make five from there. Right then, there's been an incident, I didn't actually clear the tree. 162 yards for the third shot, got a 7 iron. Right, that's actually made the green. Now, although it's not green in regulation, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put another ball down and show you another linear shot. So let's crack on. Right then, I'm about 95 yards away, and I'm actually going to try a little chip and run, because it's really dry towards the green, and it's going to run. Hopefully it's going to go left to right as it gets to the flag. Let's see if I, let's see if I can execute.
I'm pretty pleased with that. I don't know if the camera can actually zoom in and see that. It's probably about eight or ten foot away. Right then, so I salvaged my net par with my yellow ball. I didn't quite get up and down with the with the white one, but I was really pleased how I played that long chip and run from about 95 yards. So let's go on to the 15th and see how I get on there. Right, 15th hole. There's, it's a par 5. There's Pete Walker on the seat, which is why he didn't get a commentary. My position has just missed the fairway, so I'm just going to lay up into the ideal area. So hopefully, just a nice, easy similar. Right then. Just rolled off the fairway. Got a great life, 135 yards to the flag. Bit off the toe, but one of the green in regulation, so. We'll play a uh, bunker shot, I think, this time, show you the linear bunker play. As I left myself downtown, I was really pleased there for two cuts. Let's see if I can get up and down out the sand. It's probably more, it's probably about 15 foot in the end. I'll get there. Just short pace. But just short a bit of pace there, but again, really happy. I could have, could perhaps have got it in, but I'll take that. Let's move on to the 16th. Without doubt, my best drive tonight, on the fairway, between the two trees, and in play. Really happy with that one. Right then, best drive of the night so far, 196 to the middle of the green, so I probably play about 189, I've got a little hybrid. From the sublime to the ridiculous, I've carved that miles right, so we might not even find that one. Let's go and have a look. Right then, there's been a bit of an incident. After a great tee shot, I've carved my second shot way right, lost the ball. However, it's going to give me a chance to play a linear pitch from the rough onto the green.
in the hold it. It's gone in the hole. Right then. I've hold it. I actually pitched it just on the edge of the green and it ran the other 10 or 15 foot just to the break. So there you go, that's definitely up and down. And definitely a big tick for the linear, especially out the rough. Right then, an ultimate hole, 218 yard, par 3, stroke index 13. Again, we've got tight out of bounds on the left. So, after all the excitement of holding that pitch shot, let's see what I can do here. Got a 5 wood. Didn't really get through that one, it's missed the green right, which is not the area to miss it. So let's see what linear short game I can come up with here. Right then, just short pin high, but I'm going to go over and I've short sided myself. So I'm going to try and hit a flop shot. Really pleased with how that came out, and it's about eight or ten feet away, but with the green sloping away, it's the best I can do. Right, really pleased with how I executed that flop shot. With the linear method, it's all about getting the weight forward and then letting the right hand release under the club, which is what I did. Stuck it to about 10 or 12 foot. Really pleased with the putt, just didn't drop in. But I get a shot here anyway, so four net three, two points, carry on. Let's go down the 18th. Right then, last hole on the back nine at Royal Ascot, 18th, 531 yard par five. Let's see how we get on. Let's crack on with the second shot. Right then, yeah, another tee shot carved to the right. You can tell I haven't played for a couple of weeks. This hole goes round to the right and uphill. So ideally I want to be down the left hand side because there's a big pond to the right of the green. So it was a bit off the neck, but it's running up there like a scalded cat. That'd be pretty good. Right, just about got away with that over the pond, but we're on the green regulation, so I'm just going to put a ball down and do a final chip and run with the linear method. Right then, nice simple shot to finish. About. 40, 45 yards, just got a little dying on, it's just a little chip and run. I actually caught that a little heavy, but because I'm using the bounce of the club as linear is designed to do, I caught away with it. Stuck it about 20 foot, I'm not really happy with it, but will give me a chance of an up and down.
Right then, that's the back nine that Royal Ascot done. My swing's not in great shape. I haven't played for two weeks because of the Royal, Royal Race Meeting, that's easy to say. And I haven't really hit that many balls. So while my swing's a bit rusty, I hope the demonstration of the linear method on the course gives you an idea of how it works. It's a really interesting concept and something that I really believe in and it's made a great difference to my game already. What I'll do is I'll put some links to Gary Smith and the Linear Method at the bottom of this video so you can go and have a look on those for yourself. If you don't subscribe to the channel already, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you've got any comments about all things linear, put them in the comments section and I'll make sure I respond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for another video really soon.